Hi, I'm James Manning and welcome once again to Be Young RV. Today we're going to talk about the 2014 Voltage 3600 model. The Voltage comes with several different outside exterior packages. This one is in the full body paint with two other color selections or you can go to the traditional white with graphics. The full body paint, it does not have graphics, gives a great seal over the fiberglass, protecting the glass from fading over the years. Much easier to clean and maintain. Now this particular unit, we did order with the 5500 watt generator. It runs out of its own fuel cell. There's a 20 gallon fuel cell to operate the generator and right next to it is a 30 gallon fuel cell with a pump for putting into the toys, quads, bikes, or whatever you take along with you. Over here there's a compartment big enough for four house batteries next to the generator for those extended dry camping stays. And with 162 gallon fresh water capacity you can stay out for a long time. Coming around to the side you'll notice you have pass through storage in the front, plenty of room for loading gear as well as having all the storage in the garage. Inside this compartment it has the automatic controls for the leveling jacks. These are six point leveling jacks, giving you good support, not only front and back, but in the middle. And it is just that, automatic leveling jacks. You hit automatic, it will level itself. Now the nice feature on this, when you hit retract, it remembers the height that came off your truck at and will go back to that height, making it easier to put back up on the truck. Now this is the all weather package on the Voltage. With the all weather package, you get a 40,000 BTU furnace larger than the standard 30 or even 35,000 BTU. But with the all-weather package, they divert that heat not just into the living area, but into the holding tank area and the basement area. So it gives you a, truly a four-season unit. Now just to the side of the door, it has the outside entertainment center. Gives you a nice outside TV with a couple outside speakers for the helmet cam viewing at the end of the day. Next to it you'll see a 10 gallon, not a 6 gallon, but a 10 gallon water heater that runs off of gas and electric. Next to that you also have controls for operating the stereo outside. You can listen to it through here, the uh, CDs, AM, FM stereo, all operated from the outside controls. If you'll notice on this one, it's 39 foot 11 inches, larger unit, it has three axles. They are equipped with the trail air suspension with that uh, rubber cured disc in there, it takes out the harmonic metal shocking going through the coach, putting less stress and strain on the stuff you have inside the cupboards. If you'll notice on here, there's 16 inch tires, which gives you a larger brake. It is a 12 inch brake. And with this 12 inch I-beam channel chassis, which is one of the largest in the industry, you've got capacity to stop when you need to. If you'll notice the valve stem covers on here are all green. That's an indicator that the tires are filled with nitrogen. The nice thing about nitrogen, they don't expand and contract under heat and cold, or more importantly, elevation. Notice you have two sets of awning legs. One for the second rear awning in the back, covering the rear door, plus the full length awning covering the patio area in, in the front. Both awnings are automatic. And while you're looking up there, take a look at the windows. Those are frameless windows. They don't have the traditional big rubber molding around it that you have to caulk annually. The door on the back of the Voltage is seven foot high. The capacity of this door is 3,000 pounds, which is more than enough for one or even two of your heaviest quads. They do a great job with their seven foot door. They give you the option to make it a ramp or a nice patio area ran off of uh, suspension cables. With the suspension cables here, it gives you a nice deck area, easy enough to turn into a more secure area for smaller children or pets. The rails come up, the ends come around, and you can seal off the back area. Now you do have a nice ground clearance with this much tail swing when you're going off road. You're not worried about hitting the back of the fifth wheel going up and down hills. And if you'll notice at the top of the door, it has two really nice options. One is a rear awning that goes out over the patio area, as well as a remote backup camera with a remote monitor that sets inside the pickup. And over here is where the exterior ladder hooks on. It is a 
removable ladder so you can keep kids off from it when you're not around. You can store it inside. But if you do want to get on top for any maintenance, you have the capacity with the ladder. Now in the back, like I mentioned earlier, you have the two fuel cells. One for the generator, one for the pump for all the toys. Inside here are the on and off controls. Turn on your fuel station right there. It gives you an actual fuel gauge. You can tell when you're getting low. The nice thing about it with a 30 gallon larger tank, if your generator needs a little more, you can just take the pump and pump it right into your generator tank. Now on the slide out, you notice they're using Lippert's design Swintech. Swintech is probably the most controlled slide that they use in the industry. This one has three bands, bottom, middle, and top, giving you good control at all three access points. At any point, they're never out of line with more than one, two, so you get a nice even flow out as well as an even flow in, giving you a nice solid seal. They've added something different for 14 that a lot of people can appreciate who have a 50 amp service. This, of course, is a 50 amp service, which is a big cord. This year's 50 amp service, they give you a manual reel so you can just crank the hose back in rather than trying to manually put, force it back in. Then it sets cleanly on the wheel. Over here in the Universal Docking Center, they did a very clean design here. Fresh water fill, city water hookup. You can do your own winterizing. Has the black tank flush right here, easy to get to. And if you'll notice the knife valves for the dump tanks are up here above the subfloor between the main floor in the heated area that I'd mentioned earlier. So in that colder weather, your valves are still gonna operate. Now come inside and I'll show you one of the more beautiful toy haulers in the industry. Well, welcome to the inside of the Voltage 3600. As you can see, it's a nice quaint layout. The L-shaped gallery gives the person in the kitchen quite a bit of privacy from the main aisle walkway. The four-door refrigerator is definitely a must to have. You've got two oversized compartments up top, as well as a big refrigerator down below. Next to the refrigerator, is a large pantry. Over here they do give you the oversized oven instead of the small uh, standard size so it does give you a larger capacity and it does give you a big microwave up above. It's also a convection oven. Underneath they do give you an oversized drawer with full extension roller guides to pull out all the way for the pots and pans. Just to the side over here are pull-out drawers that there again pull out all the way. In the galley area you have one oversized sink, stainless steel, with a nice solid surface heavy counter top cover, and then the smaller sink for silverware with a spray nozzle making it easy to get to both sides. Over here across from the galley area is the dining area. Now with this one it is the dream dinette. A little nicer and easier to make than most. You pull the lever over and just push this, the table down into position. No more guiding onto a couple little tongue and groove setup. And easy to pop back up into place and just put the lock into position. And also next to the dinette is the loft area up above. Plenty of room for kids or even one to two adults. Next to the dinette are two oversized recliners in the theater seating. Gives you plenty of room with the 42 inch Samsung TV, makes it a really nice cozy living room. The fireplace is down below. That's also an electric heater. It's a 5100 BTU electric heater, which gives you the chance to save a lot of propane while heating the unit. As you notice to the sides of the fireplace, you have two doors. One is a main entrance to the bathroom from the living area. The other is a private entrance into the bedroom. Let's take a look into the bedroom. Well, as you first walk up into the bedroom area, you notice there's a very large closet area. Two independent closets with three oversized drawers that pull out full, full length. On top gives you a nice working countertop area with big capacity inside the closets on both sides. 
The queen size bed, if you notice how it's designed, is actually built into the front cap. It's rounded in. It gives the ability to make this upper deck area larger by utilizing that cap, they pick up an additional 14 inches. And by using that cap design, it also makes the overhead storage so much deeper. And if you notice on both sides of the bed, you do have very large nightstands with independent lights here on the side as well as the flat puck lights up above with an additional storage area underneath for both parties. Just up from the bed has the built-in television into the bedroom with easy private bedroom access to the bathroom. If you'll notice when you walk into the bathroom, they've done a very nice design. Neo-angled shower creating a lot more elbow room. The angle of the stool gives plenty of leg room for even the tallest people. And with the vessel sink, all the countertop is usable. And if you'll notice inside the bathroom, there's not one but two independent medicine cabinets with a little shelf up here for toothpaste, razors, and that type of thing. And for additional storage room, they have mounted three shelves inside the big storage area next to the stool. And then you also have access to the main living room from this end of the bathroom. Let me show you the fun part of this unit, the garage. Follow me. Now you'll notice when you get back to the garage, the size of this door for loading and unloading through the garage area makes it so much easier. Well, in the 3600, they give you the option of a 12 foot or a 10 foot garage with a half bath. We ordered this one with a 10 foot. It does give the half bath in the garage area as well as a hookup for washer and dryer. And just above the washer and dryer hookup, if you look up above, you also have a television set in the garage area. So when out tinkering on the toys or just sitting and lounging on the deck, you have the ability to watch your favorite movie out here. And just below the TV, it gives you the garage stereo. Now the garage stereo is also a CD player and a DVD player. Gives you the ability to run the speakers inside or outside. And it goes back to that control that I showed you outside. It runs the stereo in here. Now in the garage area, there's plenty of room for an additional dining setup that will seat six. It also makes into a bed. And then above that is also another power bed. And those controls are operated right here on the side of the wall. Well, as you can see with the voltage, they seem to have thought of everything, as well as additional floor plans. We have many to choose from here at B Young RV. I want to thank you for stopping by today. My name is James Manning, and I hope to see you soon. Bye now.